how to solve for breaking distance. To avoid a potential collision with wildlife crossing the road, the driver of a car traveling 100 km per hour fully applies the brakes to stop as quickly as possible. If the car stops three seconds after the brakes are applied, what is the braking distance? So the first thing to do in these type of questions or in any physics question is to try and draw a picture. So we have our car moving with its initial velocity and all of a sudden it applies the brakes and it takes a certain distance before the car comes to stop. So from that diagram and from reading the question, we can start to write down our givens. So we know our initial velocity is 100 kilometers per hour. Our final velocity, because the car comes to a stop, is zero. The time it took for all this to happen is three seconds, and the distance needed before it stopped is what we're looking for. Now, when we reread the problem, if we look for the number with the lowest amount of significant digits, it's gonna be our time, and that limits our answer to two significant digits. Now, before moving on, it's always a good idea to check your units, and notice our initial velocity is in kilometers per hour, so we're gonna to need to convert that into meters per second. A quick way to do that is just to divide the number in kilometers per hour by 3.6, and you'll have your answer in meters per second. Okay, now that we have all of our givens, it's time to find our equation. So for this, we wanna look in our data booklet and look at our physics equations. So if we take a look there, you'll notice the top two equations above the blue line those only work when there's no acceleration. So those are for uniform motion only. If we have acceleration involved, we need to pick an equation from below the blue line. So for this question, we're looking for something with distance, initial velocity, final velocity, and time. So right near the bottom, we have that equation there, basically taking the average velocity and multiplying it by the time. Okay, so now that we have our equation, it's time to rearrange the equation to solve for what we need. Luckily, this equation is already solved for distance. To make this equation a little easier, we can notice that the final velocity is zero, so that's gonna be eliminated from the equation. So if we write it, rewrite it is just as distance is equal to initial velocity divided by two multiplied by time. Now we can substitute in our givens. So we substitute in all the numbers and do the calculation, we get an answer of 41.7. Now there's something still slightly wrong with this answer. If you remember, we were only allowed two significant digits, so we need to round that number up, and our final answer would be a distance of 42 meters. Finally, if this is a short answer problem, it's always a good idea to restate your answer in a sentence. For this, they asked, what is the braking distance? So we're just gonna answer with, the braking distance is 42 meters. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helped.